What's going on, y'all? Thanks for checking in with Cali. Please like, subscribe if you haven't. Here we are with another crazy situation or another situation surrounding the Clippers that they don't need. And this crazy situation is involving the strength and conditioning coach who just got fired or, you know, let go from the Clippers here, you know, within the last couple of days. And now he's filing a lawsuit against Lawrence Frank because there was some illegal type medicine and things that he were that he was supplying to Kawhi Leonard, you know, in regards to Kawhi's health and his, you know, rehabilitation and, you know, all the things he's trying to do in regards to getting back on the floor as quickly as he can. And see, this is another situation I feel like the Clippers don't need because now you have something like this come out. You know, it's going to break. You know, it's going to be a story that a lot of other analysts and people like that are going to speak on because now it's like, OK, if this guy is going to file a lawsuit against Lawrence Frank specifically and the Clippers organization saying that he got fired wrongfully, um, as you see, <clears throat> and. He got fired for doing his job, basically, and his job was to, you know, be the strength and conditioning coach for every player on the team. But, of course, focus on Kawhi a lot more since Kawhi is the one, the main guy, the superstar and the one they need healthy the most. And giving him illegal substances or anything like that to ail his injuries or help with his injuries that could really turn, I mean, that could turn really bad for the Clippers because if it gets out, which it is out now, I'm pretty sure Adam Silver is going to investigate this a lot more. And of course, if he penalizes the team by somehow or whatever way he sees fit, if this turns out to be true, now it's like, all right, now you're giving players illegal substances to try to make them play more and play better or be more healthy or whatever the case may be. And you're doing Doing it to one of our superstars in the league that's widely known as one of the top players in the league just so you can do the best for your team giving him illegal substances which could possibly affect Kawhi long term and it's not really you know helping him in regards to his development in regards to his you know sustainability of health so I mean this could be something dating back further than you know further than now Obviously, this is this probably can be dating back probably since Kawhi got, you know, uh, on the Clippers because they had this guy, um, this strength and condition, strength and conditioning coach set in place. And this guy was one of the ones who helped recruit Kawhi Leonard to the the Clippers when he was on Toronto. He was one of the ones that's like, you know, pitching for Kawhi at that time, basically trying to get him on the, the Clippers and, you know, get him to come to the team because maybe Kawhi is familiar with him or knew of him in the past, maybe worked with him. Maybe he worked for San Antonio Spurs at one time or something like that. We never know. But at the same time, you know, with him being a recruiter and a strength and conditioning coach, it's just mighty weird now that they fired him because, you know, Kawhi is not right where he needs to be. He's not ready for the season yet. And I feel like they might have fired him more so just because of Kawhi not being ready for the season. And they feel like his strength and conditioning ways are not helping Kawhi long term. But at the same time, this guy's counter argument is they basically were OK with me giving Kawhi illegal substances to try to help or assist or get him to, you know, get his body or his knee right for him to come back sooner than what he really should be coming back. You know what I mean? So it's like it's it's a lot of turmoil, a lot of issues around this team right now. Oh, uh, as of right now, they're 0-1. Now, tomorrow they play the Denver Nuggets. That's going to be a tough one. I mean, I could see them definitely going 0-2 possibly because um, they don't have nothing, no answer for, you know, Jokic or anybody on there. And they don't really have enough offensive firepower to compete with some of the teams they're playing against right now. I mean, the Suns, you start out with the Phoenix Suns. That's an offensive juggernaut because you got, you know, those three. They lost that game. And even though they play very good and competitive, a loss is a loss. So, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they did go 0-2, but I mean, it's a possibility they could find a way to beat Denver. You know it is, but I mean, if it's, you know, the first game, Denver's home game or something like that or whatever, I wouldn't be surprised the Clippers lost again. But I mean, they're really, really lost all the way around without Kawhi Leonard. And I feel like, you know, the Clippers organization, they might have been trying to find ways to, you know, spike up the situation a little bit more with, with Kawhi's knee and try to find other ways to get him back on the court, court quickly 
quickly as possible. And these are the things I talked about, you know, in previous videos before where I, I told you guys the Clippers organization, they've always been a bad organization in regards to taking care of their players and doing things like that of that of that nature, because it's 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 just the way they do things there it just isn't right it just isn't you know what i mean so it's like this is another situation where you know uh or excuse me this is a situation where it could really you know backfire on the clippers huge i'm talking like really huge because if this turns out to be true this guy sues this team now adam silver has to step in and then on top of that Kawhi leonard i mean more than likely, if all this spills over in a negative way, it's going to it might put a negative image on him even more than what he already has. So now that might that more likely is going to make Kawhi Leonard probably think I need to leave this damn team. I don't need to stay here because it's so much turmoil and I can't seem to get healthy. And they're giving me illegal products that I really probably didn't even know that, he, that Kawhi didn't even probably know about. He's just, you know, doing what the strength and conditioning coaches tell him to do. He's just doing what the team doctors tell him to do. You know what I'm saying? He's just listening to them and trying to listen to his body at the same time. But when you're doing that and you got hypothetical, hypothetically legal substances and things like that that are being implemented in your body, this could be something that can affect Kawhi Leonard long term. And this could be the reason why Kawhi is not healthy. I mean, because I don't understand how his knee from last year to end of the season going into the playoffs it flared up and it, it, it started swelling up and inflammation and he got it so-called taken care of and they were giving him some shot or something like that in his knee to help with the swelling it could have been see the, all, that could have been some illegal substance right there they were giving him for his knee instead of letting it heal naturally the way it's supposed to and let the inflammation go down as quickly as possible and let him be ready for this season instead of trying to rush him back get him out there because they're trying to suffice for you know um the situation because they you know they want to win so bad they rather try to run their best player into the ground by giving him illegal substances or basically okaying the fact that he can take uh different type substances and now that might backfire on them because you know, this guy got fired because obviously maybe Lawrence Frank in the front office thinks that his strength and conditioning ways are just not helping. It just really causes a, a big rift in every situation, in every form or facet. So it's like, I don't know what's going to go on with this team going forward this year. Because, I mean, Kawhi is out indefinitely right now, which means he could be out any day, day to day, week to week, month to month. It could just, it varies when you, when we see the word indefinitely. So Hopefully, you know, Kawhi gets the right treatment that he needs. Hopefully uh, they, they have another strength and conditioning coach they, they can rely on. And hopefully he, he can help Kawhi get to where he needs to go. Because, I mean, with well, something like this, and like I said, if it affects Kawhi long term, which it seems like it, whatever conditioning, whatever they had for him the last several years has been affecting him long term because he hasn't stayed healthy since he's been on the Clippers. I mean, besides the bubble, he hasn't been healthy no season that I can think of, not all the way through and through. I mean, he stayed more healthy on Toronto and the Spurs more than he did on this team. So it's like, I mean, you, you look at things like that and it's like, okay, it might not be a big deal now, but it might be a big deal in the future if more information comes out in a negative way about this situation. And like I said, Kawhi and this team is already painted in a negative light. So now this just sheds more darkness on the team and it's going to be hard to keep Kawhi Leonard going forward if he's not happy with the process and everything that they're doing, which obviously this can't be uh, a happy part of his uh, journey because hearing this come out and and now all of a sudden you're trying to this guy's trying to sue the team and counter argument against Lawrence Frank. And now everybody's going to it's going to be a lot more questions and a lot more answers are going to need to be given towards the questions that's going to be asked about what's actually going on in this with this team and this operation. The reason why Kawhi can't stay healthy and the reason why this guy is uh, counter suing the, the or, or excuse me, suing the Clippers and Lawrence Frank because he's been doing his job in his mind. And now Lawrence Frank or whoever's turned their back on the guy and now this guy has to go out and you know file a claim and and sue the team because I'm pretty sure it's going to turn to a situation like I said he was giving Kawhi legal substances and the team knew about it and they didn't say nothing about it they kept it under wraps as long as it worked they weren't going to say anything but because it didn't work they fired this guy and now this guy has a whole lot to say so I mean it's 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 a big 
you know, rigmarole, crazy type situation. I mean, I really hope that um, a lot of this isn't true. And I hope that uh, they find a way to get past it because this is just something else that can just be a burden over the Clippers all season, especially if it gets blown out of proportion.